Hey folks, it's Barry Nicholson here. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video on how I use a little program called Snagit to add these cool looking rip from the headlines graphics into my sales letters. Now, when would we want to do that? Um, you could either do that, uh, sometimes I do it with testimonials. Um, sometimes I do it uh, with a, a news article that really adds credibility to the uh, what I'm trying, the message I'm trying to get across in the sales letter. So I wanted to show you an example of how I do this, and you'll see it's pretty quick and easy, but it really adds a lot of pop into your sales letters. Now you can use these for graphics that you're going to do on the internet, or for graphics that you can do on on you know in a printed sales letter. It really doesn't matter. So, uh, I, just to give you a real life example, I was doing a, a sales letter recently for a client um, doing an internet marketing conference, and, I, and I, I really wanted to talk about social media and how big, how you know, much of a phenomenon that Facebook and Twitter are becoming or have been becoming online. And uh, so I was just kind of surfing around, and I came across this great article that said Facebook was growing by 600,000 users a day. And I thought, man, that's such a super headline. I'd like to show just, just make that really pop out in the in the um, in the sales letter so uh, what I would do in a case like this is I would probably go ahead and just copy this headline um, now I'm using um, I'm using Firefox now I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you by example um, in Word now you can use Word to do this or again really our, our objective here is not is not to use put this into Word what we're doing is we're we're just creating a, a graphic here and we're going to do a little snapshot of it using Snagit. We're going to bring it into Snagit, we're going to add some effects and then that will become our graphic. So you could actually do this part using uh, Word, you could use um, Microsoft Publisher, if you have any other uh, gra uh, program that you like to do graphics in, uh, it doesn't really matter at this point where you do this. But okay, so then I would come back in here and I, and I just like these first couple paragraphs I think are really strong. Um, so I would copy these couple paragraphs and put those right here. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't certainly need to add, um, you know, uh, what's the word? The references of where I got this. This is from Marketing Pilgrim. Um, so I'm going to just say, you know, I, I'll I probably add a line in here that says something like, you know, MarketingPilgrim.com, and then find when this was. This was uh, Thursday, December 18th, 2008. Uh, I put, um, you know, probably 12, 18, 2008, and, you know, maybe move this over here to the right, uh, maybe put that in italics, so um, maybe move that up a line or so, okay, well, no, I kind of liked it better down there. Okay, so, and then one last thing I would probably do to this is, that, you know, to, to, with, to really grab people's eyeballs would be to... Um, grab a, a Facebook logo because that's pretty recognizable so I would go out here online and I'd go to Google and click on images and, and pre pretty much any logo or any picture you want to find of anything you can find on Google Images and um, I'd look up a Facebook logo there's tons of them that come up I click on this one uh, click on the full-size image yeah wow that's nice and big so I right click on that copy image and bring that here into Word. Probably definitely want to shrink this down. Now, one thing that you need, Word doesn't want to. It wants to put it up over the top of the of the, of the text. So I, I would come here and hit Format Picture, click on Layout. I, I do this tight, and then move it to the left if I want it to be on the left side of the page. And then what that does is that sort of just bumps your text. Anytime you move it, it just keeps bumping the text over. So um, probably do something like that. And again, this is just an example. Not really crazy about that font. I would probably want that to pop a little bit. I'd probably do something like Verdana, and um, then I might. There, there's a cool line in here about it. You know, Facebook is now growing at 600,000 users per day. That's about seven users a second. I really like that line, so I'm going to make that bold, and I'm going to highlight it. Now, but we're going to use Snagit here. Uh, you'll see that we're really what we're going to do is we're going to take a snapshot of what we just created on screen. Um, so I've got Snagit already open. It's again, it doesn't have a big uh, footprint on the screen. It's just pretty small. Um, and it says, first thing we want to do is we want to capture the image. So it says press Control Shift P to capture. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit Control Shift P, and you'll notice that my mouse is now changed into a little hand icon. And I'm going to give it some margin over here. I don't want to get up real tight. Well, you'll see why here in a second. 
but I want to give it a little bit of margin and I just want to go around it and draw my little red box and let go. I let go of my mouse and now what it did is it did a screen capture of that and it put that screen capture on my computer's clipboard. I can't see it but I know it's there. Um, so then I would come, I would open Snagit here and I want to go to the tools thing here and go into the Snagit editor. Um, and it'll pull this, this screen up and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this into my um, into this editor. Now it always ask me this about the bitmap that I want to paste is larger than the image. I just click yes. I'm really not sure why I even asked that. Okay, so then you can see, so now what it's done is it's it's basically taken a picture of what, what was on um, what was on my screen. Well the thing that I like to do is to add a little torn like edge effect to this and that's what I'm going to put into my sales letter. So with the effects I'm going to come up here and click on effects and click on an edge effects and it's the torn edge and as you can see here there's a bunch of different effects and you could certainly play around with these but the one I use the most is the torn edge and you'll notice as soon as I hit that uh, that it's added this torn edge but it's only done it on two sides so I, I personally like four sides I like all my whole thing to look like that and you'll notice now it just looked like it was just torn out of the middle of a page um, you know, and, and you and you can kind of mess with it. You can, you know, click on the effect size. Um, see, that's a little too close. It's overriding the text, so I want to move that back where it was. And I would mess around with the outline near here and see. Well, that gets way too dark. It gets kind of ridiculous quickly. Um, so I'm going to back off of that. Uh, probably make it. You know, it's just need two is just about right. And then that you can mess with the shadow as well um, you know where so you, you can mess around with it so you get it the way that you like it and then you would just come over here and you want to click file and save as because you're going to save this as a graphic document now the thing is when you um, it's it automatically defaults to this .png format but you, as you can see when you click on that it gives you all these other choices that you can save things as now if I was going to put this on the internet I would probably choose this uh, .gif or graphics interchange format, um, but then usually whenever I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm going to just leave it in this ping um, or PNG format. If I was going to put it in a printed sales letter, which is what I did with this particular client, I'm just going to name this Facebook, and I'm going to put it on my desktop, save that. And now let's go back to our original. So say this is our actual sales letter. Um, you know we've got all these things we've got a bunch of a bunch of text up here and then we want to come on down I'm going to center that back up and I would just look for that graphic that I just created go out to my desktop and there it is so that way now it's a graphic that I can move around into my into my sales letter so as you can see it's pretty easy pretty quick um, but I think you'll have a lot of fun with Snagit and again it's, a, it's an inexpensive program I, I don't name 30 40 bucks something like that but it is certainly money well spent and it really add a lot of pop to your sales letters and give you a professional look that uh, maybe you haven't had before so I hope you enjoy it